good young player he is. Had a great league campaign, doing well in the championship. That's back to McHugh. Couldn't turn on his right-hand side. Back to the left. Here's Tony Boyle, trying to measure it precisely. And this time it's between the posts and over the bar. Dermot Heaney. This is Dugan breaking through. Joe Cassidy. Score is on here for him. Joe Cassidy's first. This is McKeever. And Kieran McKeever trying to set up an attack here. And the Gormley trying to press home this attack. Gary McGill. Heaney's available as well. McGill goes for it. Is that on target? It is! On the side level. Gary McGill has got the side level for the fourth time in this Ulster final. Jeffrey McGonigal has been brought into the Derry team late in the match, the number 22 from Dungiven. Man who also plays hurling, of course, for his county. Here's Tohill. Started prominently for 10 minutes. McGonigal is in here, and McGonigal has a chance now, and he's got a man inside, and it's Brawley. Here it is for Derry, and Derry may well have won the Ulster Championship. Joe Brawley has scored a goal and two points. The goal coming in injury time. And now in the presence of, presence of Her Excellency, the President of Ireland, Kieran McKeever lifts the Anglo-South Cup, and Derry are once again the champions.